Hello everyone and welcome to another video in this channel. My name is Abraham Leal and today we're going to take a look at uh, just a little bit of After Effects. It's going to be a short video actually. Uh, we're, I don't think we're going to take that long uh, to create the final ad, but I just want to give you an overview of how this project would be complete because this is probably the most important part because this is the thing that you would send your client and therefore that's the moment he would pay you. So you definitely want to know how to do this and if this is the first time you're using After Effects, then don't worry, I'm going to try to take this as uh, easily as possible. Now, I just want to remind you guys that we do have available our Skillshare promotion. I'm going to play the commercial team just a little bit, uh, but let's get uh, going here with the interface just a very very basic quick uh, overview of the interface we have uh, our project things everything that's going to be on the project is going to be right here this is going to be our composition where we're going to have or we're going to be working on the actual file and down here is our timeline and all of our layers someone on the comments i think it was like two or three days ago asked about the difference between after effects and nuke or two objects or two softwares and one of them was nuke nuke is another compositing uh, software it's actually more like industry standard for things like VFX, movies, commercials, stuff like that, because it allows you to work a little bit more procedurally. Here, you work with layers and with uh, Nuke, you work with notes. So it's, uh, it's a different thing. It's completely different. I'm not like super well versed. I did like learn Nuke when I was in school, but I... I, I haven't really practiced, so I don't know how to use it as much, uh, but I do know it's one of the big uh, like uh, compositing softwares. Um, similar to DaVinci Resolve, I think DaVinci Resolve, which is also for like post-production and stuff like that, it's also node-based. You can also do some node-based uh, compositing inside of Blender. I've talked about that one before. But yeah, that's the main difference, layers versus a node base. I personally think node base is a little bit stronger, but there are so many plugins and things for After Effects that you, you're not going to really like... Um, you're not going to really like lose any of this. So the way this works is actually fairly simple. First of all, I'm going to grab two of our logos. I got the next to a dark logo and the next to the green on dark, I think. And here inside the project, I can just like drag and drop them. And now I have access to the assets. So this is the uh, one of the logos. This is the dark logo and this is the light logo. And I want to have both of them just in case one of them doesn't work as nicely as the other. And the, again, as I mentioned here, the project is where you're going to find every single thing. Now, this is very important, very, very important. You're going to import the file. You're going to go to your folder where the renders are. You can see right here we have the renders from all of our different courses. That was for the um, hard surface course. There we go. GIF 2022 underscore 10018. And we're going to import as a JPEG sequence and hit import. There's a little bit of an issue here. When we import, you can see up here that it says that this is at 30 frames per second. And we actually don't want this to be 30 frames per second. We want it to be 24 frames per second because that's the way we animate it, right? So I'm going to right click. I'm going to say interpret footage main, and we're going to change the frame rate to 24. So now it knows that this is 24. And as you can see, it's two and uh, two and a little bit over a half second. There we go. So uh, if I were to just drag and drop this over here, we're going to create a new composition, but I don't want to create this composition just yet. I want to create a, another like little uh, effect first. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to create a new composition here. This composition is going to be called our main render, our main comp. That's usually the name that we use. And here we can select the size that we want. So as you can see, we have social media. Uh, there's a couple of options here, or we can just customize it. In this case, I think we're going to go 2048 by 2048, which is a square composition, pretty much similar to what we had right here. Now that we have this, uh, the frame rate, this is also very important. We're going to bring it back to 24 frames. And there we go. And we're going to hit OK. Now, uh, if I press Control K, we're going to go to the options of the of the composition. And you're going to see that the duration right now is set to 1 uh, minute and 55 seconds. We don't need that many, right? We don't need this to be super long. So it's going to be 0 minutes. And we just want this to be 5 seconds. As I mentioned in one of the previous videos, five seconds is usually a good rule of thumb for like an intro video. It's like fast enough. And as long as we keep it interesting, it should be fairly easy to do. So now we're going to grab the gift and we're going to bring it down here. And that's it. Once we do this, as you can see, we have this blue line right here. And uh, when we just like scrub, we're going to see the animation playing. And this is the animation that we're going to be uh, well, sharing. So... I want to add a couple of uh, things, but before that, I'm actually going to go grab a really quick drink, a little bit of uh, water. And while I go for that, I just want to remind you guys that we have our Skillshare promotion. 
Hey guys, Abraham here. I just wanted to remind you guys that we upload all of our courses to Skillshare. Skillshare is this amazing site where you can access a ton of different content to learn, improve, and grow as an artist. We have all of our courses available to watch and learn from right now in Skillshare. You can check the description down here. And Skillshare is offering one free month trial to their premium membership. With this membership, you're gonna be able to access all of our courses and watch and learn all of the amazing things that we cover with all of the softwares. So what are you waiting for? Check Skillshare down here below. So I do teach a little bit of After Effects in some of the courses, especially like on the Intro to Maya course. I think that one's a really good one because in the same way as we've been doing this gift uh, little animation on the Maya course, the Complete Guide to Maya 2023, I believe, uh, I show you every single step to do a full animation, like a little short, little story there. Uh, it's, a, it's a really cool one if you guys want to check it out. So here I want to add a couple of things. First of all, I'm going to add, I'm going to right click on this area right here. I'm going to add a new solid and it's going to be a solid white. We're going to start with white and going to hit OK. As you can see, the solid white fills all of the frames, the five seconds. We don't want that. We want to play with the with the gradient. This is going to be our fade pretty much. So the way we're going to do this is I'm going to press the letter T, which is a shortcut for opacity. You can see it right here. And in here, I'm going to create a keyframe. By clicking this little clock, you create a keyframe. And now it knows that at that point in time, that layer should have a 100% opacity. But then... Shortly after, very shortly after, I would say, I want this to go all the way down to zero. So that we have this very quick faith, and now we see the gift enter. As you can see, it's like four or five frames. It's super, super, super fast. Because otherwise, we would miss the first, like, uh, the first couple of frames of the gift. As you can see right there, like, maybe we can push this one extra frame. And that way, we see the gift entering immediately after the fade ends. And there we go. We got the, the GIF doing its thing. And then bloop, this one, this is another interesting one because this is where we need to have the next fade, right? The next fade to, in this case, our logos. So let's bring the logos in. I think we're going to be using a, uh, I, I want to use like this sort of like light green for the background. So I'm going to create a new text, or no, sorry, not text, a new solid. And this is going to be a, we can even sample it. I want to grab our color right here. I'm just gonna go slightly, do we go lighter or darker? I think a little bit darker, a little bit greener. There we go, so it's a little bit more Christmassy. And now if I bring both logos in on top, I'm gonna be able, it's like this little arrow thing, scale it down with shift. And I'm gonna be able to see which one reads a little bit better. So that's the first one and that's the other one. I think the white definitely reads a little bit better, uh, but then the color is not exactly what I want, so, uh, we could change the color. I actually think it's not that bad, to be honest. I think it reads fine. It's a little bit green screeny, but I think it's fine. Cool. So we don't need this one. We just need this um, the first uh, letters here. And we know that these letters are going to appear at the end of the gift animation. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab both the letters and the deep green. I'm going to hit T to go into opacity. And we're going to start like right here with opacity zero. Okay. And create a little stopwatch option, which is the keyframe. And now, as this thing flies toward us, and especially in this frame right here, we definitely want to have this right there. So, so what's going to happen is the gift is going to like move forward, and we're going to create this very nice transition. Now, if you want to see a little bit more about that, we can change that. We can grab these two little crystals and say, hey, give me one more frame here, and let's push this frames closer here so that we see a little bit more of the gift, and then we have the, the transition to this one right here. So now if we take a look, we can press a zero to see the animation. There we go. It's 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 four frames, guys. Like no one's gonna see the, the intensity there. We're just gonna see that the GIF goes towards us and then boom, we get uh, this like a uh, very interesting screen. Now, as we mentioned, it's always important to have a little bit of, um, what's the word, a little bit of uh, overlaps or, or or not everything should happen always at the same time, right? Like when, when we create a little bit more complexity, we can make our stuff look a little bit nicer. So let's go to our uh, logo, for instance. And what I can do is I'm going to make the fade in a little bit lo slower, as you can see right here. So we're going to get the green screen really quickly, and then we're going to see the logo. And I'm going to move this whole bar a little bit to the side so that we get the transition to the green screen and immediately the logo. Okay, so now we take a look at this. We're going to have this. And and see how, how, how it's, it's again, it's super fast because it's, it's less than a second, right? But we see the green first and then do next, right? 
And uh, we can even play a little bit with this because we can do the next toot. And another thing we can do is we can change the scale of the words. We can maybe scale it up a little bit, just a tad bit. I'm going to press S to go into the scale option here. And uh, what I'm going to do is at this point where it starts being visible, I'm going to click scale. And then when we finish the visibility, I'm just going to increase the scale a little bit like this. So what's going to happen now is we're going to see logo visible and we're going to get this very nice, like just, just a, a little bit of uh, something there. And as you can see, we still have one second to hold the hold like next to the word. Uh, it's usually advised to have one second for one or two words so that people can read them properly because if you change the text or if you change things, it will be very difficult to, um, to transition into a different thing. So that would be the, um, what's the word? The, the basic like animation thing, right? But it's always good to add a little bit of sound effects. So I'm gonna pause the video real quick. I'm gonna go look for some sound effects and uh, let's see if I can find something that works. But look at that, it looks really, really cool, really sick. Nice. Now let me see if I can find some sound effects or if not, at least like a Christmas music. So give me just one second. Okay, so this is one of the best sites to look for free stuff so that you don't get any issues with copyright and things, which is freesound.org. You do need to uh, make a um, an account. Let me log in real quick. There we go. And if you look for Christmas, for instance, you can see that we have a lot of things. We have, uh, let me turn on the audio so that you can hear it. So. That one's cool. Soft, nice, we can use that. More like a background noise, so no. Nope. That's like a party. But I think I think this one's the best one, right? It's a very soft, very like song-like thing, so we just download this. There we go. Make sure whenever you download stuff, make sure you use or you check these things right here. So as you can see, this one has uh, attribution for international, which means which means that uh, we can copy, we can remix. The only thing is that we need to uh, give appropriate credit um, to the to whoever did it. So in this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link a little, um, sometimes they even give you like the, the, uh, a specific thing that they want you to uh, to share, but it's not just like letting people know that it was this was done, but Fantastonia uh, should be more than enough. So let's download this. There we go. And once we have this download, you can literally drag and drop this into After Effects and then drag and drop it onto your composition. And now if we play the composition, there we go. Now to, to fade the sound as well, because that's uh, something that you might wanna do, especially at the end of the song, what we can do is we can go into the waveform. Now this is another option. Let me move my, oh, move my camera. There we go. So here we have the waveform on the audio, and this is the the audio levels. So I'm gonna start with minus fifty, which is really really low. I'm gonna key this in, and then immediately after we're gonna go to zero. I think that's fine. And then at the very end, the at the very very end of the composition all of this like right around there we're gonna key it again and we're gonna fade towards minus 50 again that should like fade the song nicely out so let's give it a shot there we go not bad not bad at all move my camera back again Now, I'm not an audio engineer and I don't have all of the sounds available to me, but it would be great if we could get like a poof, like that kind of sound. I'm gonna see if I can look it up uh, for the final video, but this will be pretty much it for our uh, our little like uh, intro video or intro song, okay? So now how do we export this? Well, there's two ways to do it. If you have media encoder, that's probably the easiest way. If you don't, you are gonna have to go here to the render queue, but I'm gonna go to media encoder. And what media encoder does is it grabs all of the information from your folder and it encodes it. It's supposed to be faster. I've uh, had issues with this thing where it's not as fast as I would like it to be. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be fast because it's just five seconds, but I've, I've done like comp like encodings of uh, like really high videos or long videos and it takes forever. 
Very important, we need to tell it where we want. You can see our little Pokeballs right there. It's, uh, that's the video. I'm actually going to keep it there. Let's call this main render Christmas. Hit save. And uh, unless you want to do some very specific things, the default should be more than enough. So I'm just going to hit play. And what's going to happen down here is uh, you're going to see how all of the files are being exported. And we see the uh, little detail right there. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. We can click this one right here. And now if we take a look, here we have our... Christmas render. There we go. That's pretty much it. Super simple, like a small little thing. Of course, it, you can then start a video, you can promote a product, you can do so, so many things. But these are the five second, and this is a five second animation that you can use for an app inside of any of the projects that you might want. So that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys like the, the whole uh, process. Um, as you saw, the, the After Effects thing is it's quite short, it's not that difficult. Uh, we did basic stuff, there's some, a lot more like intense things that we can do as well. Uh, we can blur things, we can add like, a, like uh, I don't know, vignettes and stuff like that, but I think, I think this one works fairly, fairly nicely. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. Hope you like this mini-series. Don't forget that the portfolio is, uh, review is this weekend. So this is going to be the final portfolio review for the year. If you want to participate, make sure to go into the link down here and, um, and just, like, submit your stuff, okay? Um, we're going to have one more video tomorrow, just, like, some 3D stuff. I'm still not sure what to do. But, uh, yeah, after that, we got portfolio review, and then the next week. I really like this week's format, like, having, like, a mini project per week. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you might like, because what we can do is we can have, like, a one week sculpting, and then one week modeling, and then one week, like, uh, texturing. Like, we can do, like, a lot of different weeks. And I it, it makes it a little bit easier for me to, to like, structure this uh, video. So if that's something that you like and you like the series, let me know in the comments. I'll be, I'll be happy to hear. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.